Understanding negative causative passive voice. Make your English shine. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to explore an exciting topic in English grammar. Negative causative passive voice. You may be wondering, what exactly does that mean? Don't worry, we'll take a deep dive into this topic together, breaking it down step by step to make it as clear as possible. First, let's start with the basics. The causative passive voice is used when an action is caused or ordered by someone, and that action is performed by someone else. But how do we make it negative? Well, we just add, not, in the sentence structure. Here is the basic structure. Subject plus did not have, get plus object plus past participle. For example, she did not have her car washed. They didn't get their house cleaned. In both examples, the subject didn't cause the action to happen. Now, you might be wondering how to use the negative causative passive voice in different tenses. It's quite simple. For the past tense, you'll use did not have or did not get. For the present tense, use does not have or does not get for singular subjects and do not have or do not get for plural subjects. In the future tense, use will not have or will not get. Here are some examples. Present, he does not get his clothes ironed. Future, they will not have their lawn mowed. Remember, the past participle of the verb always follows the object. The best way to learn grammar is through practice. Let's convert these active sentences into the negative causative passive voice. 1. The teacher will mark the papers. 2. The students will not have their papers marked. 2. The tailor is altering her dress. 2. She does not get her dress altered. 3. The mechanic fixed the car. 2. He did not have his car fixed. Practice makes perfect. So try creating your own sentences with negative causative passive voice. And that's it, folks. We've covered the basics of negative causative passive voice, and now it's over to you. Practice this structure, and you'll find it easier to express yourself in English in no time. I hope you found this video helpful, and remember, English is a journey. So keep practicing and never stop learning. See you in our next video. Happy learning!